SCP-2142 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Individual instances of SCP-2142 require no special containment procedures and are to be stored in a bulk storage unit at Site-33. Testing of SCP-2142 may only occur in soundproof testing chambers of Class 3 or higher. Although individual instances of SCP-2142 can be stored with minimal upkeep, SCP-2142's method of propagation or generation are not currently understood. MTF Delta-7 is assigned to the task of identifying, intercepting, and cataloging individual instances of SCP-2142. MTF Delta-7 is authorized to employ Class B amnestics and administer Corrective Procedure 27 in civilian populations as they deem necessary. Research into SCP-2142 and its effects should focus on identifying songs, albums, and artists likely to be an infection vector for SCP-2142. Foundation personnel exposed to SCP-2142 and determined to be under its effects can opt to undergo Corrective Procedure 27 and be reassigned to another project. Personnel who will not consent to Corrective Procedure 27 are instead to report to Site-33's resident psychiatrist for a mandatory monthly evaluation and lessons in lucid dreaming techniques. Description SCP-2142 designates any compact disc, vinyl recording, or cassette tape which induces the Lavinia Complex, an anomalous psychological disorder in the listener. 1,800 instances of SCP-2142 are currently in containment, with an unknown quantity of additional instances existing outside of containment. Listeners exposed to SCP-2142 will suffer from an anomalous sleep disorder dubbed the Lavinia Complex by its discoverer, Dr. Nadim Individuals suffering from a Lavinia complex invariably dream about consuming the metacarpals and carpals of their hands, along with all attendant flesh, tendons, and muscle tissue. Subjects describe these dreams as vivid and unsettling. Those suffering from the complex also report anxiety, insomnia, and hypnophobia. Subjects tend to dread sleeping for any length of time. Of the Lavinia complex sufferers the Foundation has been able to interview, subjects report that they dream every night regardless of the length of their sleep. Even subjects who sleep for less than 90 minutes wake up to report nightmares involving self-cannibalization of the subject's hands. The dreams fit two major narratives. Type A dreams are vivid, gruesome, and detailed, consisting solely of the subject's consumption of their own hands. Other details of the dream, such as where the dream occurred and whether or not the dreamer was alone, fade from memory when the subject awakes. Typical individuals suffering from the Lavinia Complex report that 90% or more of their dreams are Type A. Type B dreams have wildly divergent narratives, but always end with the dreamer consuming or about to consume their hands, then shortly thereafter waking. For example, one subject described exploring a tropical island and meeting friendly natives that invited him to a feast. The feast's main course was revealed to be several charred human hands skewered through the palms on wooden stakes. The subject then noticed that his own hands had been severed at the wrist before he awoke. Some Lavinia complex sufferers never experience a type B dream, but most experience a type B dream at least once in their lifetime. Subjects that profess to be lucid dreamers report much higher rates of Type B dreams, with over 60% of their dreams following Type B narrative. SCP-2142 has only been discovered to affect album recordings by a limited number of artists. Additionally, only certain tracks appear to trigger the Lavinia complex in listeners, while other tracks may only induce the anomalous disorder after repeated exposure. Below is a list of all songs and albums known to potentially be instances of SCP-2142. Album 
The Lonesome Crowded West by The Modest Mouse, 1999. In Affected Albums, track 13, Polar Opposites, appears to be an ideal host for SCP-2142, triggering the Lavinia complex in 100% of listeners. Album Sad Sappy Sucker by Modest Mouse, 2001 In Affected Albums, track 2, Four-Fingered Fisherman, and track 13, Red Hand Case, induce the Lavinia Complex in approximately 23% of listeners. After this was discovered, was designated POI, Person of Interest, 2142-01. Album Bridge Over Troubled Water by Simon and Garfunkel, 2002 Track 3, Cecilia, appears to be an ideal SCP-2142 host, again triggering the Lavinia Complex in 100% of listeners. Upon discovery, designation as POI-2142-01 was rescinded. Album, I Want to Hold Your Hand, by The Beatles, 2002. The eponymous track appears to be an ideal host in the original 1963 recording, infecting 100% of subjects listening to affected albums. The song itself has proven to be a potential host for SCP-2142, even in later reprintings or when featured on compilation albums resulting in infection rates of approximately 34% in those instances. All Albums and Songs by 2005 The studio recordings of indie rock band appear to be a highly fecund source of SCP-2142 instances. The band's entire discography serves as a potential host for instances of SCP-2142, with 32% of listeners developing the Lavinia Complex after exposure to affected albums. Track 1, Clap Your Hands, off the band's eponymous debut album, is noted as having an infection rate of 100%. The members of <coughs> may be designated as POI-2142-02, currently pending 05-approval. <laughs> Album The Fruit That Ate Itself by Modest Mouse 2010 Track 4, Dirty Fingernails, is a very weak host for SCP-2142 with affected albums inducing Lavinia Complex in only 11% of listeners. Redesignation as POI-2142-01 is currently pending 05-approval. Album Songs for Children Volume by Various Unaccredited Artists 2011 Track 3, If You're Happy and You Know It, was discovered to be a highly effective SCP-2142 host, infecting 100% of listeners exposed to affected albums. If you're happy, 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 clap your hands, clap 